Hello to my friends on the other side of the screen. I am Michael of Double M Gaming, and today we are playing a Shadow Over Freddy's with my good friend Danny. Hi. <laughs> Just hi. <laughs> So, um, this game came out, I think, a few years ago at least. I've played it before. Danny has not. I didn't even know there, this like, game existed. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the FNAF nerd here, so. <laughs> I like Undertale. I don't do anything, anything else. <laughs> well, then that's bad for you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Alright, let's get into the game. New game! Oh jeez. Uh, oh gosh, my camera's freaking out. Okay. You wake up in a small dark room, laying down on a cold checkered floor with your back against a wall, feeling like hell. <laughs> Your mouth tastes like cough. God. Your mouth tastes like copper, and there's nothing to hear but the low buzz of a metal fan. Danny, are you still there? Yeah. No, your audio is like cutting out. Oh. Well then. Know, I'm my phone. Gradually, your eyes begin to open, muscles trembling as they try to stretch and contract. Your memory is foggy, and your head throbs failing to recall any information that might shed light on your current situation. Your body reacts faster than your brain, picking your- it- mm, mm, I can't read! Picking itself up off the floor using a desk nearby, you grab a light source and begin to look around to regain your bearings. Okay, and then I'll do the next one. A lifeless husk of a building reveals itself to you through the cone of your flashlight. Dust and cobwebs lining every corner. Crumpled up papers, cups, and black stains covering the floor. I don't think those are black, man. I think those are red. <laughs> Dri hmm, drips of water seeping through the rotten wooden ceiling. The layout is familiar to you, but its walls aren't nearly as inviting or friendly. Your chest feels heavy with dread. Would you like a man to be hung at the gallows? Oh, I don't think I said that right. It's no, you did. You said that right. Okay. The first coherent thoughts that enter your head urge you to leave as soon as possible. Yeah, run. Leave immediately before the shadows that have devoured this abandoned building come to consume you as well. I just had the whole. Oh, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's good to have you back home. Oh my god. <laughs> Five I nights remaining. Okay. And we're into the game. I stabbed my curtain. Jump scares incoming. <laughs> stabbed my curtain. That was a mistake. I'm turning up my volume so loud in this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. These instructions will appear every night before going out into the restaurant. Click on them to continue. Move your cursor to aim the flashlight at areas of interest. Pointing towards the side of the screen, we rotate the camera. No crap. <laughs> Left click on an open path to move to into adjacent rooms. A hostile presence is, is watching. Complete your objectives before 6 a.m. or you will be attacked. Great. See, that's the that's the one thing that I kind of like about this game. It twists the mechanics of like the what? original FNAF games. Why are you? Like, like in FNAF 1, like, 6 a.m. was like the light at the end of the tunnel, and now you have to complete your stuff before Night then, and you'll die. One. What? Night 1. Okay, thank it's you. the thing for... from, um, Sidemen's at East. It's the, like, Night 1. Pals. Who are we? We are the Paper we Pals. Paper pals. <laughs> and we came here to tell you that we do nothing in this game. And we're here to tell you that we think you're really screwed. I literally know exactly where we have to go. Flashlight was flickering. I don't like that. Okay, I, as I was saying, I know exactly where we have to go. I'm oh, jeez, we're already sure. at the wall. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. 
Okay, and we're already here. Into the exit. This is like Slaughter Me Street. Wait, have you ever played that? No, I haven't. Because it costs yeah, money, it's Danny. Money. Oh. It's worth a few bucks. It's like $14. It's worth it. It's such a good game. If anything, I'd want to get the second one. Oh, yes. It's 23 Slaughter Me Street 2. Mm hmm. That's better. That's really good. That's Why are we one. talking about this in, during a FNAF game? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know at all. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's this stuff again. You are pulled back to safety by a floating, featureless figure, standing before you with its eyes locked on your pale face. It looks like it wants to help recover your lost memories. Danny. <laughs> Danny. Okay, I'll I'll read this while she isn't here. The shadow offers you a story to clear your head. Will you accept? Danny, are you there? Yeah, no, sorry. Um someone was calling me. All right, the thing is asking for a story. Should we accept Yes or no? Good for roleplay, and it develops a good backstory. It develops a good backstory. Do we want to waste time? It develops a good backstory. Cool. Let's go. That's the poop it. Oh my god, the poop it is here. There was once a little kid who liked to play with his toys by his lonesome. Huh. Cool. I don't know why his face is shattered out. Here. He lived with his family on a small peaceful house outside of town surrounded by forest trees. The home's backyard was his personal stage where he played with his figurines of various shapes and sizes making plays which were acted out for his enjoyment alone. That is not a dog. Although he was alone, he was content in living out his youth, playing with the plastic friends his parents had gifted him with. I can't read. Neither can I, don't worry. They were a small mannequin, a stuffed teddy bear, a porcelain dress-up doll, and a toy robot. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to read. Oh, my God. No, no, this is your turn now. There you go. Oh, cool. Wait, hold up. My camera is, like, not cooperating. Oh, one day, the hens had talked to one of the toys during his playtime. In the woods, he excitedly ran away with the toy robot. I don't know what the rest says. Prompting the kid to chase after him to reclaim his friend. Annoyed by the dog's playful attitude, the kid caught up, grabbing the toy from the thief's mouth. He began to pull. Oh, to be young and carefree, a kid and his dog playing tug of war in the back garden of their house with no one to interrupt them. Seems like a wonderful memory, doesn't it? Sure does. The dog, excited to finally receive the attention it craved from the young master of the house, refused to lose this game they found themselves playing. The toy robot was almost free from the dog's mouth when... Oh my god. Relieved to have gotten his his friend back, the kid wiped off the pool of drool off the toy robot with the bottom of his shirt. He walked back home, leaving the animal twitching helplessly on the grass, with barely enough room left in the swollen neck of the... Is it the dog? Yeah. I can't read. Okay, cool, I can't read. To let out a pitiful dry howl. The kid, arriving back from the trees, positioned the toy robot back where it was on his makeshift stage and continued playing. Later that afternoon, the parents found the body of the dog. They buried it where it stood. 
I still get chills from that. Uh. I don't really mind it. <laughs> of course you don't. Four nights remaining. But oh, what the? All right, Discord's going off. Oh, from uh, what? I don't know. Is it chat? I just heard something that I do not like. Discord, shut up. <laughs> Each night your enemies become more aggressive. Oh, great. Danny. Yeah, sorry. Hi. Read. I can't read. A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It hides in the rooms waiting for you to pass by. Be careful of where you are going. Hold right click on an open path to listen to sounds coming from adjacent rooms. The more time passes, the better the better you'll hear. The better the better you'll hear. Discord, shut up. Oh, mine coming like so slowly. All right, we gotta go. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Night two. Follow the music. Me here looking like Waluigi. Waluigi! <laughs> okay. There's nothing in front of me. We can proceed. I need to turn up my volume for this. So if I could jump scare, it's gonna be so loud. I hate this. Nice. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, the, no, mu no, the music, no, no. the music, the music, the, the, the music is coming this way. I can't speak either, apparently. The music. The music. <laughs> I love that. Oh no, no! Did I go the wrong way? No, please no! <laughs> I hate it. I hate this so much. It's like FNAF 4. I hate it so much. Okay. I can't read anymore. Okay, there's nothing up there. I'm gonna turn around once. Just to make sure... Nothing's around me. Nope, something's up there. Wait. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, no, nothing's up there. That's just ambience. Just doled out ambience, I hope. Nope, we're good. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um. Can I go this way? I really hope there was a chair I saw in the corner. It's not a chair, it's a speaker. Oh, jeez. Scared me. Mmm. Bonnie, don't attack. One bunch to stay back. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Okay, ah, music is this way. You just scared me so bad. Wait, it's this way. This is the way. This is the way, my brothers. <laughs> no jump scare. New, new gym scree. Oh no, no, no! Psalm's that way. I know. I can hear it. Yo. Something is that way. I can tell. Something is that way. I know that there's something that way. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can literally hear it. I can't. Mm. No, you'll be able to see it when it comes into the same room as me. Oh, it's here, 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 it's here. I can't move. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, did you see that? Why didn't you look? 
All right, now we're ah, safe. Man. Now we're safe. God, the music's so loud. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. It's coming this way. It's coming from this way. You can tell it's coming from this way. Don't go there. Okay. It's coming from the bathroom. The music? Send it. Yes. Okay. Okay, now we're good. Gonna be like, don't you dare go in the room. Shut up. It's blocked off, so. <laughs> okay, I can go out. I believe. I believe. We're so odd. No music that way. No music this you way either. The exit. I can't. <laughs> oh, I have to follow the music. The music. The, the music. Look, if the music don't like you, then don't go Shh. near it. Shh. Okay, I'm going back up the stage. Don't jump scare me. No scare. The jump scares are so loud too. That's what scares me. Me lowering my volume. Oh, it's already all the way down. Oof. Mine's really high. You're gonna be like... Expect me to scream. My volume's really high. Expect me to scream too. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, don't go in there. It's just a suspense. Like, you don't know if it's there or not. <laughs> Stage. Not coming from in there. What other? Oh, break room, break room, break room. Where's the music coming from? The heck? Imagine it being right back in the office. I heard something, and I think I'm gonna scared. But the music's back this way, what the heck? Don't scare me, Bonnie. Be gone. Oh, something's in oh, here with me. Oh! oh my God. You saw that that time? Yeah. Okay, wait, music's this way. Bun knows we're here. Okay, going this way. Oh, I think I have to go to the kitchen. Wait, wait. how many characters are in this? Like four. Oh, is it all the main four? Yeah. Just shadow of five. No, all of them are shadows. That's why it's called the Shadow over Freddy's, Danny. Oh, wait, so Shadow Bonnie Arts BQ? No, uh, maybe? I don't know. You sure it looks like Arts BQ. Oh, jeez, the music is so loud this way. I don't yeah, know where. I can hear it. Wait, no, it's towards Pirate's Cove. That's where we have to go. It's 4 a.m. Oh. How long do we have? Okay. Uh, two more hours. Until what? Death. Oh, okay. Very loud death. Bonnie, I hate you so much. He's this way, and that's where I need to go. I can't. I have to wait for him to come to me. If I die because of you, Bonnie, I will lose my cool. Please, no. 
Please don't hurt me. Mm. Go in eternal circles. Wait for him to get here. He's oh, he's here. He's here. He's right there. Right. He's right there. He's right there. He's right here. Oh my here. god. That is creepy AF. Okay. Music this way. Discord, shut up. This isn't the time. <laughs> I think the music is still this way. Oh, yeah. It's so loud. Oh, we're back here. Break room. Yeah, why didn't you go in there before? Because I couldn't. I had to go to the other place. Ah. Oh, it's in the backstage. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we're here. Oh, I'm turning so slowly. It's all the different heads and stuff. Oh, great. It's the poop it. Hi, poop it. It's the poop it. Do that. She's just standing there. Oh, I forgot to talk about her sheet. Yeah. You forgot? Yes, you I dare did. assume her jet. <laughs> Honestly, we started off, we all started, like, calling Puppet It. Yeah. <laughs> the we Puppet isn't guess. It, people. <laughs> no, it's a girl now. Confirmed. Confirmed by... Mangle. Confirmed by the Scoot Man. Alright, you're able to read now? Yeah. You were pulled back again to safety as the sounds of the untuned music box wind down. The shadow offers another story as a reward for completing your task. Will you accept? We did the last one, so we might as well do this one. Yeah, but I can't read, so... Alright, then I'll... Be you just said you were able to read! Yeah, because I was in the middle of the screen! What, you can't see up or, up or down? No, it's like cut off. Oh. It's only at the bottom text. Oh wait, the puppet's moving! Like, slightly, but oh, it's moving. Jesus. This story I I tell you to you is it's a true story that I pray you never forget. There was once a boy who laid awake at night during a harsh downpour. What the heck just happened? Beneath the covers of his bed, he closed his eyes and tried to ignore the storm that was just outside his room. Enveloped in darkness, a sensation of creeping discomfort discomfort kept him from falling asleep. The roars of the storm were nothing compared to the relent, the mm, the relentlessness. The, no, it says restlessness. That's why oh, well that I. that the shadows cast from the window gave him. He felt eyes watching him from afar. The boy opened his eyes and looked out and looked toward the window. I can't speak, but nothing was there. It was right next to him. No, I'm just kidding. He tried to go back to sleep. Oh, thunder. He opened his eyes again, and out of the corner of his eye, he spotted it. The hollow, white eyes of a living shadow. It appeared just as quickly as it went away. His uneasiness pushed, the, pushed to the side by growing curiosity. The boy got up from his bed and approached the window. From out the glass, he could see it, the silhouette of an animal, darker than the night around it, and, and void of color, even when light struck its frame, running off into the trees with a familiar object stuck in its mouth. His favorite toy, stolen again, being carried towards the forest. The boy My couldn't boy help but follow along the shadow's path. Okay. Hey, Aaron's right here, just so you're not bad. Can you go over a little bit? Yeah. Alright. All right. Wait, I already read that. Oop. Come on. Poop it, speak! Oh! The night air was freezing. <clears throat> Frozen, wi Frozen winds carrying countless droplets that hit the skin like marbles, their impact deafening any other sound than the imposing thunder. Call it premonition, but he knew where the shadow had gone to. That place at the edge of the forest where he had last left the family dog. He was sure he would find it. I said family. <laughs> Standing in front of the grave once more, the eyes from the shadow had gone away. 
In its stead, the twice stolen robot now lay on top of the muddy mound. But this time, it was moving, its tiny plastic arms flailing violently from side to side, its head rotating in place. The movements were sudden but clear, unprompted by any outside influence. A spark of life was trapped inside this tiny vessel. Oh, he's moving again. She, or she, sorry, sorry, puppet. <laughs> Fascinated by such discovery, he picked up the toy from the ground and held it tightly with both hand, with both of his hands to prevent it from escaping his grasp. Oh, I need, I forgot to breathe. Oh. <laughs> Smiling from ear to ear, the boy headed back home. Okay. I'm in the trash bag. Three nights remaining. Do you want to do night three as well? Uh, sure. Okay. We'll do night three and then we'll cut it. Aye, aye. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Aye. Uh, Yar. Don't stand still. Enemies will move into your room if you take too long, hiding next to you. If a shadow is in the same room as you, it'll wait for you to move before attacking. Find it and scare it away before you proceed. A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It moves slower, but is harder to, to detect. Be patient while leaning over on, onto other rooms. Okay. All right, now Chica's here, so enter the kitchen. If I remember correctly, I think I know where we have to go. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Because I, I think if I remember what I have to do, I have to go to the break room, I have to get the key, and then I have to, um, then I have to go back to the kitchen. Is there already something here? I swear. Yep. Shut up. Oh, yeah, yeah, the key icon's in the bottom. I, I don't have the key, so it's not... So it's empty. Be quiet, I'm trying to listen. Hmm. Nothing's this way. I'm just gonna do a full circle around the building. Nope. Do not kill me, I swear. Okay, one full check, one full circle. Nothing this way either. I believe. I believe nothing else is there. Okay. Nothing. Oh. What was that noise? I can hear something. Okay, nothing's there. Okay, cool. something's that way. You heard that? Oh! I didn't even see that! Holy crap! I closed my eyes for like two seconds. What? Is something else here? I'm confused. Okay, nothing else is here, I don't think. I don't think anything else is there. Don't you dare do it! Okay. Okay. One full spin. Make sure nothing's here. And then, okay, Chica's up here. Uh, these freaking bird, bunny, bear, fox animatronics. Where's Chica? Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> Just come this way. I'm gonna get very mad at Chica. Chica. Chica the rooster. Okay, but but roosters aren't po- Oh, oh wait, no, that was Bonnie again. Bun Bun. I thought that was Chica. No, yeah, it was Bun Bun. Okay, nothing's this way. I've seen Bonnie twice and she- Whoa! 
I for, I didn't know he could do that. I didn't know he could just randomly appear in front of you. I didn't know that. He'd be like, sup, buddy? He do be like that. That's freaky. That got me so good. Wait, keys. I got the key. I swear if there's something outside the door. If there's something outside the door, I'm going to lose it. There's something outside the door. <laughs> yay. No. No yay. To the door. There's a bunch of bottles of Kleenex. <laughs> oh, I, I thought we wanted to see, like, food. Oh, there's, a, there's a cup over there. Who is there? That might actually be Chica. That might actually be Chica this time. Great. Not good. Oh, it's here. Oh, no, it's Bonnie again. Where's Chica? That's starting to worry me. Oh, my God. Be quiet. Please. That, that scared you? Yeah. Then the jump scares are going to scare you like ten times more. Oh, okay. That's how loud they are. It's like it's like the FNAF 6 jump scares times 10. Oh. Oh. My ears yeah. are literally going to bleed and I'm probably going to hit my camera. <laughs> Wait, something is in here with me. Okay, there's Chica. God. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Whenever I'm like scared, I try to say like. No, I try to do like happy things. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing up here. Okay. One full circle. Make sure Freddo Boy isn't here. Like right now, I'm doing like the llama song. The heck? Big llama, small llama. Baby llama, mama llama. Mama in pajama llama. <laughs> Drama llama. Mama in pajama llama. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, nothing's this way. Freddy, if you were there, I will go insane. Okay, My arms could pour in a different way. Didn't need to know that, but thank you. So it looks like I'm like the Laura. <laughs> I thought the I thought you moving was the freaking game, Danny. Me? Yeah. I Stop it. You. Oh, oh my God. I I thought I thought Foxy's face on the arcade was actually Foxy. You thought it was actually Foxy. Yeah. Wait. Here. Wait. Let me turn around real quick. That's what I mean. Meow. <laughs> it's like a. That's like the silver eyes. Someone's in front of me. Can I just get to the kitchen, please? What time is it? 3 a.m. Oh. Y'all, we did. No, we're, we're fine. The kitchen's right in front of me, and I have the key. I just need to wait for Bonnie or Chica or whoever that is to move. I thought your, you moving was the beginning of the laugh. Oh, there's the laugh. Chica, wait, there's another laugh. There was two. There was two laughs. Wait, what? There were two laughs. See, no, now I'm starting to get concerned. I've been. Okay, go, 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 please, go, 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 do not jump scare me, I swear to God. Wait. I used the key on the kitchen door. On the kitchen door. What is this stuff? Um. Please. 
There's so many wires. That's certainly a health hazard, and so is this puppet. <laughs> is that the puppet? Yep, the two glowing eyes. You need something funny. Okay. This is honestly very creepy. Uh. Hello? You are pulled back to safety as the room fades away with you, or around you. Oh, the shadow <laughs> offers... I can't... Yep, <laughs> another story from your past, what do you expect? I'm doing something right now, Mom, give me a few minutes. Go. And we'll accept. You can see a lot more of the puppet now. No, no. Alright, this is a true story that I tell you. I hope you're taking notes for the quiz at the end. What? Yep. You little shit. No, I'm just kidding. There, there once was a young man who had grown hungry for knowledge. Growing into adolescence, he had isolated himself from his family, fo focusing instead on his passion for the unknown, the spiritual, the place of mystery he had come to know years ago. That rhymed. In a box under his bed, he hid his secret away from all others, his living plastic friend still thrashing and writhing inside. Every night, he okay. observed his movements intently. What? Okay, we get it. You don't have any friends. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> All right, the young man spent entire days away from home, reading and studying about spirits and vessels. His interest turned into obsession, and his need to understand grew. Alas, it was it was all for naught, as no book had the key to ans to the answers he'd been seeking. All he found were vague rumors and legends with no instructions or explanations. To continue down the rabbit hole, he knew what he had what had to be done. Oh jeez. Oh, I remember this. Since he was a kid, the young man never saw his dad as anything more than an obstacle. He was a moody, aggressive old alcoholic who ne who only talked to his son when he needed something to sh something to shout at. Having driven everyone that loved him away, the drunkard was worth less than nothing was worth less than nothing in the eyes of the boy. Thus, he was the perfect candidate. What are you thinking right now, Danny? Um, he has dad issues. Obviously. One day, when coming home, seeing the old man sprawled out in the kitchen table with a bottle on on hand, he decided to show old dear to show dear old daddy a new way of life. Holding a small felt doll in his right hand, the teen ma the teen made his way to the house's garage. After a few hours, the deed was done and the plan in action. The boy watched his oblivious father drive away in his car unaware of the tampering that had been done to the vehicle. Sitting on his bed, the young man took his dear pet out of the box and began to press harshly on its square plastic head. As it trembled in pain, he waited on the outcome of its small experiment. Now what are you thinking? <laughs> He dead man. He dead man. He, he dead gone. Man. <laughs> he gone. He gone. R.I.P. Drunk Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hashtag puppet is drunk daddy. Confirmed. <laughs> oh, the humanity. After the car ac after the car <clears throat> accident, <clears throat> he recovered the doll that had been planted below the seat and returned to his home. 
Placing it on his desk, he watched it closely for that same spark that remained inside the, his robotic friend. Too much to his, fear, to his frustration, no movement came from the doll. Nothing. The vessel that he had prepared for his father was empty, devoid of even a single remnant of life. Furious by his failure, he ripped the felt doll apart and threw his side. What a waste. From then on, he was free of the shackles of his drunken caretaker, but without the trophy he had planned to take from, his, from this monstrous act of sab sab sabotage. I need to go back to school, I swear. <laughs> Unflinching in his resolve with no guilt in his empty heart, he contemplated what to do next. My friend, I have a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hippo. I was kidding when I said there, that there was, was to be a quiz, by the way. Not that it matters. Darn. Now I have to, like, burn all my notes. Or that you deserve it. You have to burn your notes? I have to burn my notes. You have to burn all your notes. Okay. Why does Puppet look like a zombie? I don't know. Maybe he is. Puppet. Oh, <laughs> All right, two nights are remaining. Would you keep, would you keep going? No, we're gonna end it here. Oh, I'm stretching. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, we are going to end this episode here. Like, we can probably do another episode of this, right? Oh, uh, probably. 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 He's been a boy. Oh, and by the way, Par Pirate's Cove is active on the next one. Is the what? Is the what? Foxy is active on the next one. Ah. Uh. Ah. All right, so everyone, we are going to end the first episode of A Shadow Over Freddy's with Danny here. I What's it? I will see you. In, we will both see you in the next episode. And peace out. Bye. Danny, say bye. Bye.